Hi everyone, I'm Darla Marlowe. I teach both Algebra 1 and Algebra 2. I'm excited to be back teaching. This year the parent-teacher conferences are on November 5th. This is my family. My husband is Jeff Marlowe. He teaches at the middle school, fifth grade. Some of you might know him. And the five people in the middle are my five kids, consisting of two sets of twins and my oldest daughter. I'm that silly lady with two sets of twins. Jareth and Delaney and Brielle are in the middle and they all go to Liberty University in Lynchburg, Virginia. Jareth and Delaney are twins and my other set of twins are seniors this year at the high school and they are Traven and Cassidy. This is kind of our new norm. We only have four people at home instead of the big party of seven. And one of my colleagues put it as, this is your final lap, Marlowe, when we talk about the two seniors. Jareth is on the bottom, and again, Delaney and Braille are having a good time at Liberty together. I wanna talk a little bit about class management. Most of you know that we are using Google Classroom this year, and Google Classroom has been very helpful in organizing what your student needs to do. If you look at what you see right now, Algebra 2 Trig is my first period class. It's the only one that I'm doing with all of the students in the same, are on the same page. The Algebra 1 and Algebra, or Algebra 1 CPM will be divided into both red and gold, and you can kind of see there how this looks. I will be posting most items in the classwork tab. Your students know that. I loved when I found the best skills that students need to have these days. And if you look at the ranking, communication, reading, and math are right up there. So that's good news. And so we're going to really try to continue to collaborate this year, even despite what we're going through, and talking even more about critical thinking and problem solving. You will see on this screen there are TI-84 calculators. Thank you so much for purchasing the TI-84. I love teaching it to students. It will not replace their mental math or their thinking, but rather it will help them expedite problems as they're working. These calculators are ACT and SAT approved, so that's good news. And I will be teaching them many of the different types of things they can do as shortcuts on the calculator. The TI-84 Plus CE is the newest one out in the 84 line, and it's the color one. The TI-84 Plus will also suffice if you're, if you're getting a calculator or having a student or a sibling pass that down. It is definitely an advantage that they have the calculator. Students should record the serial number, which is on the back of the calculator at home, and label the cover and the actual calculator, perhaps with a Sharpie. This is my Algebra 2 trig curriculum. If you want to pause and look through it quickly, you can. I have put a picture of the book on here, but the actual book is going to be online. We'll talk about that. This is my website, and it is a Google site. If you click on Algebra 2 Trig, you can see this weekly agenda. Students just scroll down and they'll have a weekly agenda. And underneath here is my Algebra 1, and here's the red weekly schedule. Again, posted that with red and the gold one is under there as well. If they scroll down, they can remain really organized. These are just some of the types of problems that if you're an Algebra 2 student, you might try to attack this year. Algebra 1 has the following curriculum as well. If you look at the chapters, and that is a picture of the book, but again, their book is an online book, CPM. This is a screen that talks about how you and I can work together in our best way to help your child. Let's stick together. First of all, please check progress book often to help hold them accountable. Email me. I'm going to send email blasts out this year occasionally. Make sure that your correct email address is in progress book and that you have one at all so that you can remain up to, up to date with what we're doing. This is a year we really want to give a lot of praise when things are going well. And of course, sometimes we have to implement those consequences to help your student turn things around if he or she is struggling. Please feel free to communicate with me at the conference and or, as I said, email. 
that right there is my email address. Please also encourage your student to use homework help. Of all years, this is the year for this amazing tool. I'm going to click out and show you that. Students may sign in with Google. This might take just a moment. If you scroll down, you will see both the Algebra 1 book and the Algebra 2 book. And I'm just going to pick Algebra 2 as an example. If you click on it and go to a specific chapter, it enumerates the topics. I'm going to click out to 111. Scroll down and you will see one of the amazing, most amazing tools that we have available. You know how we've all been there, where you're looking at a math problem and you say, I don't even know where to start. Well, this homework help allows you to click on that. It links out to a hint, and you can just click right on the first hint. It gives you a starting point. Sometimes there's an additional hint. And lastly, there might even be a final answer to the problem. Aren't you all thinking, where was this when we grew up? But this is going to be a really helpful tool as students are working sometimes at home. There's also a parent guide on the CPM book. And I know that's called a parent guide. It can be used for you. It could also be used for your child. They can go out and look at the parent guide and it has additional examples with worked out problems. That's often very helpful. You can click right on Marlowe on the portal page. You will see in that example, notes, assignments, and answers. Some of those things are posted daily. Finally, I just want to thank you so much for watching. I want to tell you that this year is the year we're going to stay positive. We're going to make this work. So thank you again, and let me know if I can help in any way.